So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone SE versus the Google Pixel 2 speed test. Now I did a poll on Instagram and people overwhelmingly wanted to see this comparison here between these two. So we're gonna speed test them here. Now I am gonna time them one by one and we're gonna go through the applications that I did line up on both devices. So let's begin with the iPhone SE and then we'll do the Pixel. All right guys, so we're gonna begin this test first on the SE in three, two, one let's go and let's get into calculator let's get into clock let's get into camera let's get into snapchat let's come out of there let's get into twitter and twitter should be done let's get into instagram coming out of instagram let's get into youtube and we are in youtube now let's get into a pie geek and a pie geek is done there let's get into speed test and speed test is done what about the app store and we finish with the App Store, and there is Google. Let's get into Jetpack Joyride, and we should be closing out in just a minute here on Geekbench for the SE. And it is done now for Jetpack. Let's get into Geekbench, and we are done with a total score of 3529. Let's hop over to the Pixel. Okay, so remember that score when we get into the Pixel's final score so you can compare them after we are done, because I am gonna close this app out right now. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do the test now on the Google Pixel 2. We are gonna run the same test. You can see all the applications are closed. Closed. Three, two, let's go. You can see calendar is open, calculator, clock, camera, Snapchat is done, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube done loading there. We got a Pi Geek here. And you could see speed test here. Let's go into Play Store. Let's go into Chrome. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. Here's where iPhones are usually quicker on loading the game. There goes Jetpack Joyride, Geekbench, and we are done with a total score of 2566 there. So the iPhone SE definitely about 10 seconds slower on this test. Let's go ahead and run them back now on the multitasking. We're going to switch back to the SE. So the final score there on that first test was 2566 for the Google Pixel 2 on the first run of apps. So definitely faster than SE's around 35 seconds. So let's go ahead and run back now on the multitasking. Okay, so let's run backwards now on the SE and see what happens here. Let's begin with Geekbench in three, two, and let's go. And you can see it's open. Let's get in the Jetpack Joyride. We do have a reload on the game here. And that should open now. And there it goes. Let's go into Chrome. Let's go into App Store. Let's go into the speed test portion. That has to re-look for the server. Let's go into a Pi Geek, And that opened up YouTube, a reload here on YouTube. Very strange here for the SE. Let's go into Instagram. Looks like we're getting a whole new reload there. And Twitter. So Twitter opens now. Let's get into Snapchat. There's Snapchat camera. Let's get into the clock. Let's get into the calculator. And let's get into the calendar. In around 35 seconds or so, we finish with the SE's multitasking. So about the same as the first round. Not bad. Pretty fast here, even for 2017. Let's get into the Google Pixel 2 now. All right, so it's the Google Pixel 2's turn. Let's begin with Geekbench and run through the applications as well. Three, two, one. And coming home, let's go into Jetpack Joyride. You can see app was still open. Chrome, let's go into Play Store. Let's go into Speed Test. And let's go into a Pi Geek. And let's go into YouTube. And YouTube reloads there. Let's go into Instagram. And then it's done. Let's go into Twitter. That's done. Let's go into Snapchat. That's done. Let's go into Camera. Let's go into Clock. Let's go into Calculator. And let's go into Calendar. And we are done here with a total score of 24.79. So again, faster than the SE, not too much there on the speed. It's about the same, actually. It's 25 on the first round about on the Pixel 2 and 24.79 on the multitasking. So the Pixel 2 is the clear winner here in both speed tests on the first one and the multitasking. Even if I was a second or two off, there was a 10-second spread, so it wouldn't even matter. The Pixel 2 is still quicker here. All right, guys, so that wraps it up here between iPhone SE and Google Pixel 2. Two. Well, the Google Pixel 2 pretty much is way faster than the iPhone SE, as you've seen in this video. Now, I know a lot of people are super fans of this phone here, and there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, What's true is true. The Google Pixel 2 is much faster in day-to-day -day task than the iPhone SE. So that's my conclusion here. Anyway, any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. If you are asking questions about the SE and to make certain videos, I've made almost every conceivable question you could think of about this phone on the channel. So go ahead and scrub through the channel if you wanna see more content on that. And we're still working on the Google Pixel content, so you might wanna be subscribed to see that. Nick here up on you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.
。